My name is Aris, uh, Aris Kefalo Giannis is a difficult name to say in English, but I think you can do. So my name is Nicholas Danos and also Poly Black, aka Stanley Rapper, if you wanted to know. My name is Giannis, uh, I was born and raised in Creta and I'm here in the Abeloki Panormo area. I love to play basketball in this court, Panormo, Panormo court, because it's always open and it has always people to play. And also, it is uh, under uh, the is over the metro station when uh, a street musician always play music. So it is a wonderful time for me in my life to play basketball here and to listen this uh, street music, street basketball and street music. This is the this is this is this is perfect for me. So it's next. It's exactly next to my best friend's house. So that's why we're coming here uh, frequently. Uh, it's a really nice vibe. It doesn't matter if you come with, uh, with your friends or alone, you will always find people to play with. And recent, recently, everyone is super awesome, super good vibes. Like, you can connect with uh, almost everyone. A lot of smiles, you know, like you come here, you play, you just can, you can see the smile in the people's face. And it's a really good, like, you know, like to get away with the stress of the day and etc. Actually, I mean, I think the skill level at that court is. is pretty good. I mean, I think it's almost at sort of like a college or university level because these guys play together a lot. You know, if you haven't noticed, I mean, they're friends. Um, they always go up there. I think COVID has stepped back their step a little bit for a lot of people, but they know how to run plays. You know, they know how to pass and move. And they, I think everybody has fun. And I think especially there, they actually congratulate each other even if they're on the other team for like a good shot for for doing well or you know actually care if they actually bump into you or hurt you like is, you're all right and I think that's cool. I played basketball for about 12 years when I was very young. I played in, uh, in, uh, in a team and then I stopped because I have a fight with my coach <laughs> and uh, for this reason I continue to play basketball in the street uh, like here street basketball. Yeah yeah this is where I started from uh, from high school mainly you know uh, uh, between the breaks of the of the classes etc., we used to like get a ball and play on the court of the next to the sea. So yeah, this is where all it started. Uh, I've been playing basketball for I don't want to say it. I've been playing basketball for 40 years since I was five. For a long, long time. This is time called the 80s. <laughs> 1982. Yeah, and I, I think. When I actually fell in love with the game was there was a day that I was playing against my brother and you know he was much taller than me. He's two years older than me, but he was about five inches taller than me. And we played a game and I beat him and he was so mad he took the basketball and he threw it into the garage and it shattered this Alfa Romeo uh, sign that my dad had gotten uh, back in the early 70s when Alfa Romeo first closed down in the United States. I actually took the blame for it because if my brother would have said that he did it, my dad would have taken down the basketball hoop. It's sort of this first son mentality of, of Greeks and I, I took the blame for it saying that I did it because uh, I knew he wouldn't take down the basketball hoop. It would just be that I couldn't shoot yet <laughs> and I did it accidentally. So, you know, a little white lie, but uh, yeah, that's when I realized I love the game enough to, to take the rap on. Uh, I'm breaking something. <laughs> and my first feeling when I I touch this ball, I think that is it's not a fall in love, but it's something like a, like strange, like curious. Uh, what is that? Why is it so heavy? It's more heavier than uh, it's more heavy than like football. 
So I want to understand it and to, and to, and to make it uh, to work for me. So I think that now <laughs> I, now, I now know better, but always you should uh, know better this ball. From my experience, I think it's the... It can teach you that only as a team you can go like forward in your life or in your career path or whatever, like in general. It doesn't matter if you are like not a good player or a good player, everyone can join, everyone can play. To listen, to communicate, to understand when you're not the best at something and know that it needs to go to somebody else. And um, those, in almost any business, if you know your strengths and weaknesses, you know, you, you try and not say that you have weaknesses or hide them, you try and find people that don't have the weaknesses you do and it strengthens you as a whole. This is basketball is uh, something different from the, from the classic and more normal basketball. Because uh, street basketball is, uh, is, is, is something like, uh, like life. You can come to a court, to a basketball court, you can find uh, whatever people you can find in your society, in your life, and you, you should play. Some is better than you, some other is, uh, is not better than you. So this is the, the perspective of the life for me, and this is a basketball, street basketball for me. You need to help, everyone needs to help the other person next to you, you know. If you are the best person in the court, you need to teach some, something to the other person next to you, you know. And as a team to win the game, you know, to balance the, the, the strengths of each pair, pair, player and win all together. So it's all about helping each other, you know. And, you know, Michael Jordan would be nobody without the other four people. Um, and, and you have to learn how to be good and be able to share the wealth past the ball. I've learned a lot from basketball, actually. Now that you asked the question, I think that uh, basketball is uh, is like life. So if you if you see and watch your friend how play basketball, how find their role, you can understand a lot about their characteristics. For example, one player that uh, they don't give, he don't give uh, the pass. Oh, yes, you are the, They are ego He is egoistic in her life. Uh, another player that always shoot. He believes that he's very good and he has a lot of self-confidence. So it is very, they, they have a lot of similarities with life basketball. Uh, in this court, we have come with friends, with my cousins, and we play together again and again. But uh, the most important, most beautiful feeling is when you play with something that you don't know and you you know each other and you you don't know you don't know and you can learn them. Yeah, you might see me online. I'm vying to be the oldest NBA rookie ever, so I'm training my apple tree off, man. Just something snapped in my head, and I said, man, you know, if only I would have just sort of continued on a path. I played for my Greek church through high school. I, I always continued to play after that, and I just, it's, you know, things get lost. Any parents out there, you know, like some of your passions, some of your things, you have to put them away for a while. So I thought to myself, can I get myself in shape? And what shape would I be in once I did? So this is now day decatria, this is day 13. And uh, you know, I, I cut off probably 12 kilos of fat and brought back six kilos of muscle. I'm in better shape than I've been in my entire life. So I think my best shape was when I was 19, so I'm back to that. And uh, I think some people could attest to it. They see like, you know, I'm not the typical, uh, typical 45 year old. Uh, this August, uh, big party, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, and I've noticed that I, I have the stamina, I have the drive. I'm playing when it's you know 85, 90 degrees, or 24 degrees, 28 degrees. Um, all the elements just to uh, put me on a cool court indoors. And man, you know that would be, <laughs> you know, what I mean, I'd be able to go forever. Go Warriors or whoever. I mean, I could play for. I don't even care. Any team. You know what I mean? Just uh, man, just yeah, yeah, just uh, or even just come out to a training camp and say, hey, we heard that you're, you know, you think you got it. Yeah, well, just give me an hour with those five guys that are going to be playing on Thursday night, and I guarantee uh, you'll see a show. So that's it, and that's without ego. It's just, it's my basketball talking. <laughs> so Struffy Hill is badass. Um, you know, the first time I came up here was actually accidentally. I was with my partner and she said, hey, let's go for a walk. And 
So we walked up to the top over here, and then there were stairs that went up, and I said, hey, let's go up the stairs. And she said first, like, I'm not walking up all those stairs, because depending on how you come up, there's a hundred stairs to get up here. So we walked up, and I said, man, there's a basketball court here, and there's, I mean, there's cliffs, and there's cool graffiti, and it's, it reminds me, honestly, it reminds me of like NBA Street or, you know, some of the games that show the, you know, the different street courts uh, in the United States and in some places of the world. I think this court should be on yeah. NBA 2K or NBA Live. Like, I started coming up here and walking around. You can go, you know, up a good, I don't know, what would you say, 200 meters just through like a little foresty area and... You can go to the top and look down at the court, so it's pretty cool. So you can actually go up to the top of the cliff and just chill up there, eat a sandwich, and watch people play basketball. So I don't know how many places you could do that. Yeah, yeah, the problem is getting people. So I come here, uh, sometimes I come here more than once in a day. I think if people came up here, it's, uh, it's a cool place. It's, it's a little rough around the edges, maybe, maybe a little paint, but uh, it's classic. It's a classic place. I've been to many courts in my life, and I think it's one of the best. I guess, and if you like music, uh, I'm Polly Black, that's P-O-L-Y-B-L-A-C-K. I've had some music on the BBC in the UK. Um, I'm also AKA Stanley Rapper, and uh, you can check that out on SoundCloud for free, or if you go to iTunes, you know, iTunes, YouTube, Deezer, Xbox Live, all that stuff. Shazam doesn't work for some reason, I'm trying to figure that out. And uh, yeah, and then I'm also, uh, directing and finished a TV pilot called Sublife, which is going to premiere in July. And here in Greece, I'm starting a Batman movie called Out of Gotham, and it's going to be amazing. So, I don't know. Look all that stuff up. If you like dogs, LG and Fudge, they're the puppies that I rescued from the Lutraki landfill. If you look that up, you'll see that there's a problem that we're trying to solve, getting these uh, dogs off a chemically laden uh, illegally dumped landfill that's been closed for eight years and uh, yeah man come out and play basketball <laughs>